Hey guys, Ru here with Not Avid for Blender, and this one we're gonna be creating some crazy bullions. So let's uh, let's grab a plane and let's just extrude it down. So select this edge here, easy. Drop it down and let's go to let's go to modify, solidify, and let's select this edge and just simply bevel it. Okay, so Control B and bevel it like this. Let's apply sharpen to uh, you know get like this kind of a curve. And we're gonna grab a cylinder, so shift a cylinder, and let's create, I don't know, 40. Actually, you know what, 34 is enough. RX90 to rotate it, scale it down a bit, go to top view, orthographic, bring it somewhere here, and in fact, GY, move it somewhere here. Let's just sharpen this as well. Now we're gonna go to front view, position it properly here, it's in the corner somewhere, right? So. Something like that, maybe. This one could be a bit thicker, so go to modifier, solidify it a little bit more. Something like that. And now we need to add some support edges, so you know, let's land some loops here. So control R and drop some loops, and drop some loops here. Let's control R, so we got support for this one, right? Now let's make it a bit more interesting and let's grab this boolean. So ever scroll, let's grab this one. And in fact, let's uh, let's dissolve these two, right? Select this face and uh, bully on this. I mean, sorry, bevel this, right? Like that. So create something roundish here in the back. So it's gonna look like that, which is pretty cool. This one could be a bit more thick, to be honest. So, you know, modify and solidify and make it a bit thick. Go to front view, sort of place it somewhere here. Should be fine. And now we can combine them. Uh, so, you know, um, control click on sharpen, remove these two edges, right? And let's, uh, let's chamfer this, let's insert it, extrude it, insert it, and create something like that. Cool. And now let's see what's the damage. See, the damage is minimal, and the reason for it is simply because, first of all, this wolf here is flat and this wolf here is flat so um this boolean um this tricky part here falls on a flat surface meaning um we don't have to disturb these main um main supporting beams what we can do is simply move these ones towards the uh you know towards the structure so because angle on angle on these um edges here doesn't matter all we care about is, you know, this curvature here on this cylinder. And uh, here to flat surface, all good. So that's peachy. Now we're gonna bevel the whole thing, right? So let's go to bevel and bevel the whole thing. And see if it's not breaking. We're gonna add some weighted normals. So I'll click on the sharp and, and everything is cool. Everything is cool. Now, if you wanted to, for example, bevel these, um, you're probably gonna have to remove some of these edges, limitations of poly modeling, but you know, it can be done. There you go. You know, you could bevel these, and the same here. You're probably gonna have to remove some of these, so, um, so like this, this, and this, dissolve them. This doesn't matter because the flat surface, so you know, we can do that very easily. Boom. Let's recalculate sharpens, control click, control shift click on sharpen, which will remove some sharpens and you know, reintroduce them in places we need them in. So, there you go. Uh, that will be our difficult bullion. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Cool. We got this kind of like a sensor or something in the corner. We got some drama here, but you know, you, this is this is bound to happen, right? So, this one is a bit close. What you can do is simply combine them. So, go to occlude. Like I said, this one is a flat surface, so we can merge it here. This one is a bit short, so we could just merge them here like this. Uh, the edge is a bit too close. Uh, this one could be going... Uh, the three of them, just uh, combine them into into one. There we go. And there's something breaking here as well, uh, which is a bit problematic. Uh, let me see that. Mm, this could be moved a little bit in. So it doesn't go through the bevel, combine these, not these ones. One more time, hang on, this is really 
disorienting here in the middle this one j and here we could combine these two j right so uh, there's a bit more breakage in here which is uh shift one to merge them in the middle should do these two could be merged together as well so shift one boom and done and you get clean you know clean, clean transition inside and outside so two curves you know surfaces merging so like i said it's important how you you know how you run these bevels uh, uh sorry the bullions so you know there are limitations of course you know eventually you must gonna break especially in moments like this when um, bevel is running really close to you know to the edge so there are limitations of poly modeling so you didn't you can't do everything with with this kind of a stuff right so Let's move them up a little bit here, and this one a little bit up, so GG, but outside the bevel area, boom, there you go, I'm gonna break in here as well, which is kinda expected because these are too close, so we're gonna go, we're gonna close them like this, and it's fine, breaks here too, because again, it's too close, so GG, but outside of the bevel area, and until it stops breaking, and if it keeps breaking, let me see that GG and move it up. Uh, yeah, this one is uh, too steep here. So combine it here and here. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Combine this one. Ah, this edge can be removed. So dissolve edges. There we go. And now it's clean. Breaks here too, so we can clean it up. This one is flat, remember, so you can move it. Move it to uh, these, right? Because these are supporting the curvature, so don't move them and uh, what the hell is that ah it's from this one here you know what we could technically maybe not remove it but what we could do is um, subdivide this one connect this one here and simply remove this entire edge here dissolve dissolve right and this should do not yet dissolve right boom and we sort it and now you got really clean shading all around no problem whatsoever and the bevel is actually quite thick so you know you probably will not need bevel that crazy but you know you could if you wanted to so the cleaner the geo the cleaner the boolean and the better you sort of run the boolean through in terms of you know topology uh, the 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 more crazy bevels you you know you can uh, create. This one maybe it's a little bit too too deformed. You want these edges to flow nicely. Now this one since we lowered the bevel, you can combine here and it's fine. So there you go. Topology depends on you know on the bevel thickness basically. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did. And of course links to. Hard ups and box cutter in video descriptions. If you need the get them as a bundle, it's a no brainer. Thank you for watching. Catch you next one.